वेलकम एवरी वन टू अ न्यू आई टी टूटोरियल एंड इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट होम सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम यूजिंग रेसबरी पाए इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी आर यूजिंग द पी आई आर मोशन डिटेक्शन सेंसर एंड बेस्ड ऑन द डिटेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड द ई मेल अलर्ट्स एंड बेसिकली वी आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग द पाई कैम द कैमरा सेंसर ऑफ रेसबरी पाए सो दैट द कैमरा मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो कैप्चर्स द इमेज एट द मोमेंट द मोशन इज डिटेक्टेड and the same will be sent via mail to the admin so this is the project we are going to create in this session so agenda for this session is divided into five parts in the first part i will show you the demo of the project in the second part the requirements to build this project and the third part is the circuit diagram that we use for uh, connecting the pir sensor and the led to the raspberry pi at the fourth part we will see the how different modules of this project are integrated and working together and at last we will see the python code which i have written for the my raspberry pi for motion detection and email alerts so in this demo we can see that uh, in the bottom right corner of my screen this is my setup where we have this raspberry pi 3b plus and the we have this pir sensor which is connected to these pins and we have one led which will basically tell the state that uh, when the motion is detected and when it is not so let's see this is the python code which is currently in this state and we have one project directory uh, we can see that and this is the python code pir.py so there is nothing right now and uh, let's run this sketch and we can see that it's none printing in endless loop and we now okay so motion detected and as soon as this motion is detected we got this image right here we can see it okay it uh, because this uh, camera is moving right now so it is not captured properly but uh, if we go to this email id we got the security alert email from this email and uh, if we check the image it is the same image which is captured from this raspberry pi you can see that so this is the project so talking about the requirements for this project we need a raspberry pi and uh, it can be of any models here i am using raspberry pi model 3b plus but you can use any model like raspberry pi 0 or 4 anything uh, the second requirement is the pir motion sensor and uh, this is used for the detection of the move motion which we have seen already seen in the demo so the third requirement is the raspberry pi camera module and uh, here i am using raspberry pi camera module uh, which is uh, 5 megapixel and uh, you can also use this uh, 8 megapixel no noyer based uh, camera module as you can see in this circuit diagram this uh, pir sensor and uh, this is connected to this raspberry pi on pin uh, data pin is connected on pin gpio 4 and this vcc and ground is uh, basically connected to 5 volt and the ground respectively and talking about the status led we have connected it to gpio pin 2 and uh, it is the through the 220 ohm resistor it is connected to the ground so this is the a uh, small circuit diagram for this project and uh, you can uh, change this uh, uh, pin numbers and if you are going to change the pin number here you also need to change the same here in the code also so you can see this led which is defined for pin gpio pin 2 and for motion sensor which is pir it is defined for pin gpio pin 4 so as we can see in this architecture this detection is carried out by this pir motion detection sensor and uh, the raspberry pi we have we are running this python script uh, where uh, we are checking the pir sensor uh, in every in a loop basically that uh, if uh, this uh, there is any motion based on this detection uh, we are performing some action so as soon as some motion is detected the motion is detected we are going to perform these many actions so the red led is switched from off to on state and uh, we are also capturing the image of that time stamp basically and uh, this same time stamp image gets saved to our file 
to our file and uh, also it is going to send to this email using SMTP uh, we are using here Gmail basically so these are the course of action which are carried out after this detection of the motion if there is no motion red LED will be keep in its off state so now let's discuss the code for this project and uh, you can see that I have created a project directory and inside it images uh, the python sketch is present uh, and this image also get saved in this uh, folder itself so in the starting we can see that uh, gpio 0 library uh, pi camera library uh, is used here so for gpio 0 i want to give you a small reference for that like uh, uh, this library is a popular library and uh, uh, it's much better to use this library so we are not using this traditional uh, gpio library you can see here uh, uh, there is like uh, five line of codes you can see in this and it is replaced by this simple thing like uh, all the things are here defined in classes like led class or supports uh, blinking of led or any action of led uh, we have the led special led class and the all it's come under the output devices and uh, we have various apis for these output devices and uh, uh, for the pir sensor it comes under the input devices for this library so we are implement implemented this library in our code uh, so you can see that uh, for led this is the small basic thing that we can see uh, let me show you this output devices led example where uh, we can see that uh, uh, from gpio 0 we are importing the led class and after that we are defining uh, we are like passing the argument this argument is nothing but the pin uh, basically gpio pin number and uh, let me show you the what is the difference between pin number and gpio pin number so pin number is this 1351234 like this and gpio pin uh, corresponding gpio pin number is you can see like right here so and uh, this library is uh, uh, passing uh, we are passing argument the gpio pin number uh, for turning on this uh, light we are just making uh, making use of the on on method and in the arduino you also know that uh, we are we have simply the digital write method and we are we have we pass basically the high signal to that so similarly we have led dot on method here and uh, for off the led turning off the led we have the off method so this is the uh, use of this led in this uh, sketch we are using this library in this manner before going to the code let's see the input device which we are using in this case is pir device this pir sensor so as you can see in this 13.1.3 section we have motion sensor and we have used this motion sensor uh, from gpio 0 library and uh, we have defined the class and the argument here is 4 which is the which is the same uh, let me show you the circuit diagram and uh, we can understand from that that uh, we have defined we have connected to gpio 4 that's why uh, that's why we are passing uh, gpi 4 as the argument here and uh, these are few methods which are present with this wait for motion or all other methods are there but for we are only using motion underscore detected so we let me show you my sketch so for this script uh, we can see that uh, we are uh, also importing few more libraries uh, let's also discuss these like we are using smtp lib uh, date time um, mime image mime multipart so these libraries are helpful like smtp will be helpful in sending the uh, sending the email these two libraries will be helpful in sending the image file with this uh, email which we are sending and the date time uh, we are using this uh, to save the uh, to save the basically the file name because it should be unique like you can see here so that's why uh, we are using this these three things and uh, we can see that uh, here we are initializing the camera so we are using the pi camera class here and after making the object uh, we are using uh, we are like setting the properties few properties of like the cam resolution and rotation so resolution is set to 1024 comma 768 this tuple is set to this resolution and uh, rotates for rotation part we are setting 180 
so what this may what this means is basically we are rotating our camera to 180 degree uh, so this is a very important step because uh, uh, if you don't rotate it uh, maybe if you haven't uh, adjusted it properly it will uh, give you image in like upside down manner so this is an important step here and uh, these three line of code is very important because these are important for the email part for sending the email we are using these two uh, credentials the email id which from which we are sending the email and the password from for that and for, to which email we are sending is this email id so you can replace it with your uh, credentials uh, subject for the email will be security alert you can see we have uh, defined this globally and this is the part while true part we are repeating this in uh, regularly and uh, for else part we are just uh, printing none like uh, nothing is uh, detected and led if led is in on state it will be turned off and if it is in off state already uh, then uh, there is nothing we can do like uh, for on state uh, for on state if pir dot motion detected uh, this is the same api which we are talking about this motion detected thing returns true if the value currently exceeds threshold and false otherwise so the threshold uh, is will be set uh, to uh, 0 0.5 let me uh, see here for threshold we can see default to 0 0.5 when average of all, all values in the internal queues rises above this value so we can set this threshold with uh, from our own but uh, for uh, in my case i am just using the 0 0.5 value and uh, my sensors are working properly but if you, your sensors uh, are detecting false readings then you need to set the threshold for that so pir dot motion detected and uh, we just printed the someone present uh, message message thing and after that we are turning on our red led led dot on and this is the same led which is connected to pin gpio pin 2 and after that uh, we are just uh, giving some time for uh, for our camera to set up basically so before capturing uh, we are just giving some time to set up our camera uh, you if you, uh, you have already seen in the demo that our picture is quite blurred uh, that is the reason uh, the reason for that is because my camera is not still at that moment and uh, we are also we need to give this uh, two second of delay here here we are setting this uh, using the date time library we are uh, using this uh, current uh, date time stamp basically uh, you and uh, we are converting it into this format and uh, after that we are appending it with dot jpg so this is this will be the final file name of this picture image and this image this file name will be uh, like save used here and this what it does is basically we it is looking for the current directory since we haven't given any path uh, and our python code is in this Python project directory this one it will look into this directory and it will get uh, it will uh, like save the image in this directory only so if you want to give any specific path you can share you can append that path like uh, you can append that path from here easily like any directory you want In this manner so in this manner you can like add any path you want and after that we are giving some time if uh, sleep me method is called and uh, after this part uh, we are uh, just uh, making these uh, methods like mime multi-part so here we are setting up the image and uh, after that we are uh, making these properties for this dictionary object like uh, subject from and to we are setting the subject from email address and to email address to the message this message which we have defined using this my multi part and this my multi part is the same uh, which we have used here this my multi part which we are importing using from this so this message we have we have set all these three properties and after that uh, we can see that we have uh, uh, we are opening this file which we have saved and uh, in the and uh, we are reading that file using this mime image method and uh, after that we are closing that file and uh, we are attaching this 
mass this image which we have read read which we have read in this line we have we have read this image and uh, this image same image will be attached to this message this multi part message we are attaching that image and these few lines of code we have now attached image and uh, with our message and our message contains subject from to and the image so all these things will be sent using this send message method so using this method we are sending this message and uh, before that we are setting up our uh, we are setting up our uh, smtp basically we are using the uh, gmail smtp free smtp service so we are setting setting that up so tls uh, uh, port is 587 for uh, gmail and uh, the same is mentioned here and uh, for login we have to use the uh, username and password for logging uh, from which we are sending the email so 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 we have to provide the same login and password here so we have already defined it globally you can see right in this 17 and 18 line number so we are just using that from the global variables we are just using that and after that uh, we are quitting this uh, service thing and uh, this is the part we are used in this code for sending the email so that's how our code is working here now we are done with our coding part and uh, that's all for this video uh, you can find the circuit diagram and code in the description link and please like share and subscribe for more videos like this and if you have any idea join us to collaborate or if you want to develop any iot based project please contact us thank you